Welcome back to Let's Talk It Out. Um, Jordan, we just had a couple of questions there before we had a technical glitch. Um, VC from Devon was asking a very fundamental question on your claims about supporting and believing in black um, leadership within your organization. And, and let's contextualize it correctly so that we don't um, have this pie in the sky answers. In your own province, with the 11 MECs in your executive that you have, seven of them are white, only two are black, and only two are colored. Are you not able to find capable blacks in South Africa, within the Democratic Alliance, to lead within your structures? The bulk of your HODs in, in the Western Cape and in the provinces where you lead are also white. How is this giving confidence to the suggestions that you actually support black talent, that you actually believe in, in, in blacks in general? Well, we are absolutely the most diverse party in South Africa. We attract support from every single community in the country. And that support is coming through the ranks of the party and is increasingly reflected at every level of our party's leadership in parliament, in our national leadership, in our provincial leadership, and in all of our benches and ranks. So I have, I'm very confident that uh, we are the most diverse party and increasingly will always reflect that in, every, in everything that we do and in all of our representation and leadership. But let me answer your caller from Durban as follows and say that the best thing that we can do to advance mainly poor, mainly black South Africans is to create jobs and to make sure that those jobs are available fairly to everyone. And the DA has proven that we do this better than any other government in South Africa. We have created 600,000 jobs in the one place that we have governed. And we've done that, and the main beneficiaries of that are poor, unemployed people. And that is the best way to advance the, the cause Jordan, of the majority Jordan, of Jordan, our poor Jordan, Jordan we've run out of time. We're going to have to close, um, despite that distortion on job stats, with Gauteng being on top, Free State being next, and only Western Cape coming afterwards. But And that's it for this edition of Let's Have It Out. Um, keep the conversation going on social media using the hashtag LHIO. I'm Bandira Hadebe, and thank you for watching, and good night.